What is up everyone? Back again with another pickup video. Um, here's some hand-picked things I got recently. Um, stuff I'm adding to the old collection that I'm very excited about. Um, as always, happy to get more stuff. More stuff than I need, but stuff nonetheless. So, quite a few things. Quite a few very awesome things. Grab this. This, this is sorry, one thing that I got that I forgot to grab before I started filming this, but luckily it was right there with the old NES game. So, spoiler is a very awesome NES game that I got that I will show you in the time frame of me filming this video. So, first up, non no, it's gaming related, but it's not a game. It's gaming related. I picked up the 30th anniversary Capcom character encyclopedia. Um, it's got, what is it, 200 something Capcom characters. Um, just some stuff about them. And uh, this I got at a store. It's a nationwide chain. It's called like Ollie's Outlet or something. But basically they kind of like take buy stock from like liquidated shit or I don't know they get a bunch of shit but I know stores all across the country have been getting these encyclopedias and they're only they're selling them for like four dollars so I had to pick one up I'm glad that my local store had some not a ton of them but uh me and my buddy we grabbed one each so very happy to get that also what I got was a new game I got Batman, but I actually just traded that into Best Buy because I already finished it. So I'm going to buy some uh, other games with what I get from trading it in. So I'll show that in another video when I get them because one isn't even out yet. So, But I did also get J-Stars Victory vs. Plus. And um, yeah, I was excited to play this, just a different type of game. And uh, I don't know like a lot of the manga anime that these characters are from but it just looked pretty cool so i picked it up and for pre-ordering it i also got the j stars victory versus plus compendium and it's just got a bunch of information about the um characters so and then you also read it uh backwards like a manga so keeping it true to the uh, japanese roots with that so on to the games on to the games. Lots of games. More games than I need. But that is what I do. That is what we all do. Um, just shower ourselves in games. Um, so, first up, let's start with non-garage sale and flea market pickups. Uh, first thing I got from eBay. Been wanting to get this for a while. Found it very cheap. And that is Mobile Light Force 2. Wow, that cover looks terrible. But this is actually a Castle Shikigami game, uh, the first one. And I believe there's some stuff cut out of it. But um, this was a budget title, and they put this terrible cover on there. And um, it's just a shooter. Um, so it was very cheap. I think it's probably overlooked because it looks like it's probably garbage. But uh, there's also a Mobile Light Force 1 on the PS1, and that game is actually Gunbird, and I know stuff was cut out of that too, but um, very cool to get this, very happy. I know Mobile Light Force 1 I think is a little more, but um, for 7 bucks shipped, um, very happy to get that. Also picked up um, from a GameStop, a different GameStop, way out of the way, we went to visit some friends. Um, for 4th of July and they live like an hour and 30 hour and 40 minutes away kind of like in a vacation-y type town and there was a, a GameStop out there and so I decided to stop and I'm glad they I did because I found two games I've been looking for for a long time that I can't find around here and the first one is The Monkey King The Legend Begins on the Wii and uh, this one was only like two bucks but I can never find it around here and uh, this is just like a shooter on the Wii, so just a cheap little shooter, but it looks pretty good, so I've been wanting to pick it up. So happy to get that. And then this game, I can't ever fucking find. Um, 
I just think it might be hard to find in general. I don't know. For me, it is. And that Zoid's Assault on the 360. Uh, not the best game from what I hear, but um, a strategy RPG. And it's published by Atlas. And uh, I think that was like 8 bucks or something. So very happy to finally find that. And then also off a of Facebook group, um, I picked up Punch Out on the Wii. Or no, I got this one from a garage sale. I picked up another Punch Out on a Facebook group after this one, but this one's complete. I got this at a garage sale for like three bucks. So very happy to get that. Um, I don't remember where everything is when I got everything, but who fucking cares? So, let me set that down. So, I also got a copy of Kirby Superstar Ultra for the DS. Uh, no case, but I think this was like $5. So, happy to get that. Always happy to get um, good DS games for cheap. Also picked up a copy of Super Mario Bros. 3 um, on the Game Boy Advance. Um... I think this was a dollar, and this is actually a double. I believe I already have this. So, still had to pick that up for a buck. Maybe someone can use it in the future. Um, also got, at the same sale, Mario Golf Advance Tour. Got that for a dollar. And then, man, I'm terrible at this. I got this, and this was a, was a cart only, but I had the case for this from a good old... Uh, GameStop dumpster, thank you very much. And that is uh, Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Got that for a buck, so very happy to get that. Um, I don't have either of the Zelda games on uh, DS, so that is very awesome. Um, I also picked up from a garage sale uh, Gargoyles on the Genesis. I believe that was a dollar. Um, never played this, so uh, excited to see what that's about. I think it's good. I think that's what I hear, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So I also got, this is not a garage sale. Who fucking cares? This format, formats are stupid. I'm just going to do things the way I want to do them. I got from, actually today, from Disc Replay. Um, I had like 10 bucks in credit. And they had this, which I didn't have yet, and I've been wanting to get it. So I picked it up. Don't know if that's a good deal, but who fucking cares? And that is uh, Gradius on the NES. So very happy to finally get that. I've been wanting that for a while. Um, so next, there's some stuff I actually got from a thrift store. Yes, a thrift store. Uh, Salvation Army pulled through. Never find anything at the fucking thrift stores. But one day I found some stuff. Uh, five bucks a piece. It's high for a fucking thrift store. But awesome deal for these games. Um, so I got Klonoa 2. For the PS2. Um, yeah, very happy to get that. I don't believe yeah, it doesn't have the manual. There's actually kind of a crack on the inner ring. But, um, yeah, I think if I get those little circle sticker things and stick that on there, it'll be fine. Because it's not going into the data part, so that's good. Um, also got Silent Hill, Hill 3. Um, very happy to get that. And also Silent Hill Origins. So, five bucks a piece. Can't beat that, especially at a thrift store, even though people say thrift stores are dead. But that day, they weren't dead. So, um, anyways, uh, I believe for five bucks at a garage sale, I got a Time Splitters Future Perfect. Um, very awesome one to cross off the uh, old GameCube list. I've never actually played Time Splitters, but I know people rave about these games. So I'll definitely see what they're about. Um, and I know, you know, that one's a little pricey or whatever now. So, anywho's, um, also got some uh, Genesis stuff. These, I believe, were a buck a piece at a garage sale. Um, Beauty and the Beast, uh, Bell's Quest, and all these aren't complete. Some of them have manuals, but whatever. I like the cases. They look, I love Genesis cases, but, uh, Bell's Quest, um, Ariel, the Little Mermaid, Tasmania, 
Tiny Toon Buster's Hidden Treasure, X-Men, and Beauty and the Beast, Roar of the Beast. So, yeah, awesome. You know, nothing crazy in there, but for a buck a piece, you can't beat that. And the Genesis is fucking awesome. So, um, and the last stuff, I guess, would be considered the heavy hitter stuff, I guess, if everyone has to have heavy hitters in their video. Um, at the flea market, there's a guy who had a copy of Smash Brothers sitting out for the 64. And, you know, I asked him how much was it, and he said, like, three bucks or something. And um, I asked if he, he... Actually, I didn't even ask. He just said, oh, I've got some Nintendo games, too. I was holding them for someone, but I'll... Um, he just let me see them. So he pulled out this box and there was a bunch of stuff in there like Mario Brothers and Zelda and there was actually a copy of DuckTales 2 in there, which is crazy. So I asked him how much he wanted per game and he said like four bucks a piece. So um, I was looking and I was like, fucking DuckTales 2, I don't know if he knows what that is. But uh, I pulled out two games and DuckTales 2, and he's like, oh, no, 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 I can't do that on DuckTales 2. He's like, that's 150 bucks on eBay. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, he was telling me something about how, like, because there's a defect on the label, and I was like, no, I'm, you know, I was just like, oh, okay, whatever. But obviously he was wrong um, just because it's DuckTales 2. But uh, I did get that Smash Brothers, which I don't have anymore. And then these two Nintendo games for 10 bucks together. So very happy to get these. Um, and the NES games I got, the first one is Mendel Palace, which I didn't, I don't think, I had never heard of this game. And it just was, looked interesting, so I grabbed it. And I looked it up, and the gameplay looks very interesting. So happy to get that. And then this one, um, which is pretty crazy. Um, I got Mega Man, um, so, yeah, I don't know how he knew DuckTales was worth so much, but he didn't bother to look up his other games, but I grabbed Mega Man from him, um, I left all the Marios and stuff, because he said he was holding it for someone, and I don't know, I guess I just don't like to undercut someone if they've already, like, I know someone would do that to me if I asked someone to hold something and someone else went there, and they'd be like, oh, I'll buy everything off of you, but if, I know somebody is already gonna look and buy stuff, like, I don't know, I did, didn't want to just buy everything, and I guess I got Mega Man, so, but there was still a lot of good stuff left there, and, um, who knows if he bought the stuff, but, very happy to get those. And then the last thing I got from a garage sale, uh, very happy to get this. I just stopped at some garage sales during my lunch, and uh, a lady happened to have this. I um, asked her if she had anything, and she pulled it out, and she let me have this for uh, 10 bucks. And that is a NES really back action set in the box. Uh, totally complete, still with some of the plastic baggies. So, very awesome to find that for 10 bucks. That actually, now I have two NESs in the box. My other one's right there, the power set. So, um, yeah, that's just awesome, man. Like, I really wasn't expecting to find anything. And she said she had an NES, and I was just uh, asking her, you know, about it or whatever. And she's like, let me go grab it. And I really didn't expect it to be in the box. And, you know, then she's you know, it was just like 10 bucks and it's yours. So I was like, all right, sounds good to me. So, um, anyways, that's everything I got in however fucking long that took me to get it. I don't know, but, uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.